Hey guys, it's Corey Mayo with the Corey Mayo team at Ocean Atlantic Sotheby's and today I'm here at Marshall Island located on Camp Arrowhead Road right off of Route 24 John J. Williams Highway. Uh, I want to take you on a tour through this Cassidy. This is a spec home located on home site 92. Uh, this home is completely built, loaded with awesome options. I want to take you through and show you what, the, uh, what this home features. Um, options that either if you decide to buy this home, it is available for sale, you could purchase it, um, and or you may find some features that you like in it that maybe you would want to build in your own Cassidy, uh, omitting some and adding some of the features that you see during this tour. But let's go set off here and see everything that there is going on at this Cassidy here in Marsh Island. Okay, the first thing that we notice about this Cassidy, this is showing with one of the two-story elevations. So the Cassidy comes standard as a one-story home. Uh, it would have three and a half bathrooms with three bedrooms. This is showing with the second story with a large loft upstairs and a powder room. And then again, as I stated earlier, just lots of options throughout. Uh, but this two-story elevation obviously is a taller home. We'll do a little spin around here so you can see what the surrounding homes look like on this street. Now Marshall Island is located right where the mouth of the Love Creek opens up into the Rehoboth Bay. So there's actually access here for kayaking and paddle boarding. There's also uh, a couple boat slips that are back there if you want to get into powered motorsports as well does have a outdoor gathering space with a gym and pool located on the, with, uh, on the water with views of the Rehoboth Bay. It really is very beautiful, very stunning. Uh, you'll notice that this particular home, this elevation they chose, we have our first floor front porch and then the second story balcony, which is a nice feature to have. Two car garage have some nice coastally colors with the standard uh, uh, vinyl siding, this blue vinyl siding, and then some gray cedar shake as well. So as we come up, we notice this front porch, composite decking. Enter the front door here into the foyer area. The Cassidy has this nice wide Foyer when you come in, it does feature a tray ceiling, which is standard. And they added a lot of uh, trim and crown throughout the home that you'll notice as we're touring things. The bottom half of the wall is featuring chair rail with beadboard. Standard, this door would lead us out into the garage. They opted to do the mudroom option, which is nice. So this door leads you to directly out to the two car garage. two-car garage is featuring the service door, which gives you access to the side of the home. But the mud room is great. So you come right off of the garage into the mud room instead of into uh, the foyer area. They also outfitted it with some uh, cabinetry here as well. And the floor in this mud room is like a faux wood tile. So this is true tile that's grouted the whole nine yards. So very nice durable finish in the, and to, for being in the mud room. Directly across from the mud room, we have a small hallway here. This is gonna feature a bedroom and the bathroom. This particular bathroom is being shown with a three quarter tile wall. The transom window is gonna be standard. They have 12 by 12 tile on the floor. Quartz countertops of the undermount sink. Single sink there. And then the next door after that is gonna lead us to the front bedroom. Has this nice vaulted ceiling. They did add the optional recessed lighting in here. Uh, one thing that you'll notice with Shell Brothers is that in all of the bedrooms, you'll have this rough in, that little round cap that you see. That has two switches, one for the fan and one for the light that is connected to the switch down here on the wall. So you have the opportunity to have separate switching for both the fan and the light, which is nice when you come in, if you wanna you can have a handyman or electrician install a 
fan for you. Something else you'll notice when we go to the light switch, there is a red dot on this left switch that is going to correspond with this outlet over here that also has the red dot. That is a switched outlet, so that gives you the ability for a, a, night top, a night side lamp to have it switched for when you come into the room. So out into the hall and then into the foyer area, we'll make a right continuing through to the room. Directly to the right is going to be an office that they opted to do the office as opposed to a bedroom. So we have these uh, French uh, glass doors here leading into the flex room slash office. They opted to include a full wall of cabinetry in here as well. Similar color, or, uh, maybe the exact color to what we saw over in the mud room. And directly across the hall is going to be a nice large double door coat closet here. Now for flooring in the bedroom, we had carpet in that upgraded or in that front bedroom. It looks like it's up, upgraded, not sure what level, maybe a level three. It's not a pile, it has this pattern in it. And we'll see that also when we go upstairs into the loft, but we have hardwood floors throughout the first floor, except for the bedrooms with that carpet. And then obviously tile in that front bonus room, or in that front mud room. Come into the main living space here, off to the right is going to be our great room. They did opt to do the uh, cathedral ceilings in here, or the vaulted ceiling in here. There's also, if you see the two speakers that are installed in here as well, so there's audio installed in this room, along with that in-ceiling rough-in for a ceiling fan. Again, dual switch, so that'll be for light and for the fan. This does have a two foot side extension with an inset fireplace, meaning that they pushed this whole wall back two feet and then brought just the fireplace and chimney in two feet. And then they filled the side space in with optional cabinetry. And then as you can see, they lit it up with lighting as well. It's very, very stunning. And then we go from the great room on the other side of the room is going to be our Chef's Series Kitchen. So Shell Brothers has four series, four series of kitchens. They have their base level kitchen, their gourmet, their professional, and then the top series is going to be their Chef Series. So you're going to have, like you see here, a Sub-Zero refrigerator that was selected. We have a Wolf Range, a full cabinetry style hood. So instead of just a, a uh, metal or stainless steel hood. This is a cabinet matching style hood. They opted for the pot filler here above the, above the stove. And then this nice stone subway tile backsplash as well. We have a built-in in-wall uh, in microwave. And because the Wolf range is not a cooktop, it's a true range, you actually get some additional cabinetry with this as well. This also is featuring the command center, so this really large piece of uh, stone here in the center of the kitchen. You have seating around the left side and this side here for stools, and which is really nice. Porcelain front mount sink as well, and then, I'm not sure what series dishwasher. A GE Monogram dishwasher. And they opted for the beverage fridge as well. So really, this house, you know, I hope I get everything. This house really has had a ton of options added, added to it, so hopefully I get everything in this tour. This is going to be our eat-in dining area here overlooking the hardscape patio. The recessed lights they added 
Now you'll notice the round rough in here that we've been seeing in, in the other rooms. Um, this is a switched rough in, but is it gonna be a single switch, so only for a light. It is not a light and fan like what we found in the bedrooms and the main great room. Off of, off of the dining space, they have a bar that they opted for with the matching countertops, you know, uh, lit up cabinetry as well. The door just off of the kitchen and dining space leads us down a short hall. Here we have a secondary closet that can be used as a coat closet or it could be used as a linen closet. One thing I forgot I want to show you is this pantry. One thing that's cool about the Cassidy, it's got this really nice big pantry you come in and then even wraps around the corner, goes back even farther. So lots of pantry space in the Cassidy. So we'll head back down to this hall. We have this double door closet here. Directly across the hall is going to be stairs that leads up to our loft and our sky basement. We'll check that out in a second. Directly across the hall again, next to that double closet is gonna be our laundry. This does include front mount washer and dryer, which you can see are also situated on top of the pedestals and full cabinetry in this laundry. I mean, this is a serious laundry room with a sink lower cabinetry as well, and beautiful quartz countertops in here. All soft closed doors and drawers. And it's really nice, this is not linoleum, this is a tile floor, so this is a full tile and grout floor. Next we have a half bath. Then we have our second guest room. So we have one guest room at the very front of the house and this would be guest room number two. So it has double doors, this whole closet. It's, it's like a pass-through, so you have a nice big closet here. But the key to this is the ensuite bathroom for this, this bedroom. So quartz countertops in here, undermount sink, 12 by 12 tile floor, similar to what we saw in that front bathroom and then similar tile on the wall as well. The Cassidy has another unique feature. One thing you'll notice if you ever come in to it and you look is that it features 10 foot ceilings on the first floor instead of nine foot ceilings. So comparing it to some other, other of the Shell Brothers floor plans, even including the Shearwater uh, or the Kingfisher, the wind roll, that just 10 foot ceilings really feel like it stretches it. You have more, you feel like you're in a larger home because of the height of those ceilings. And that's gonna be found throughout the first floor. Obviously tray ceilings would be higher and or the vaulted slash cathedral ceilings. Coming in off of the Eden area, we have our door that leads us to the owner's suite. Tray ceiling here with added trim, in, inside crown and then exterior crown as well. This luxury owner suite has this sitting area, this angled back wall. It does look like this has been pre-wired. I'm not sure if this pre-wiring is for power blinds or for uh, sensors for the, an alarm system. It looks like it's probably going to be, since it's up top, for uh, power blinds, which is great to have that pre-wire in there already. Two large size closets in the owner's suite. Here's closet number one. This is gonna be located directly off of the bedroom. And again, it's with these 10 foot ceilings, the closets just feel bigger. And if you did an organizer in here, the nice thing is it allows you to have 10 feet and you may need a step stool to get to it, but 10 feet of custom uh, closet organizers, which gives you that much more storage. Heading into the owner's bathroom. We have continue on with the uh, quartz countertops in here with the undermount sinks like we have seen throughout. But then we have this really big closet in here. So it's really hard to do this justice in a video, I think, but really nice size. 
closet here. This looks like it's probably a 12 by 24 tile floor. They did the soaker tub. This is a much more modern style versus those garden tubs you used to see. And then a full tile shower, full, I mean 10 feet. Again, floor to ceiling all the way up. You have your transom window. You have an additional wand with separate valving for that. A nice mosaic insert, double niche there, and then our bench as well. And then two by two, two by two tile floor. And this ever so desirable frameless shower doors. And then here's our water closet. Heading back out into the owner's bedroom. We'll make a right, heading back out into the main living space. We'll go back into the side hall and continues up the stairs to check out the second floor of this home. So standard on the Cassidy, you would still have this finished staircase. It would be exactly as what we're seeing here now. Uh, and then the wall would just stop. You would continue through to this door to what is called uh, the sky basement. This is just an unfinished space that is above the garage. So this is a standard unfinished space in the Cassidy, which I believe it, you do not have the ability to finish off. This is always going to be unfinished space. The nice thing is you don't have to worry about pull down stairs. It is truly walking up a finished staircase, which is hidden in the home versus being located right at the front when you walk in. But these people opted to add the second story bonus room. So this whole area up here is fully finished off. The great thing about the Cassidy when you do it like this with that vaulted ceiling is that if you have a TV up here, which they have pre-wired here, you can watch TV here, and you can watch TV down in the living room, which would be on the other side of this wall, and then you have your vaulted ceiling with insulation all between that. Both TVs going at the same time without having to worry about competing sounds. When you have an open loft to where it overlooks directly into that great room, it's really hard to have two TVs going. You know, the sound uh, can be, is very competing with one another. have another half bath up here with the tile floor. And then directly off of the bonus room, we have our second story balcony overlooking the pond. Go downstairs now and we'll check out the outside that courtyard in the back yard area. Back into the main living space. Directly off of the Eden is going to be the sliding glass door that would take you up to the multi tiered hardscape patio. This portion of it being screened in does have some recessed lighting in here, as well as a ceiling fan with a light. And then going from the screen and porch, we have another large, I'm gonna say upper because there is a stair, stair here, but it's not real huge, but we have this upper portion here. And then one step that goes down to the lower area with the fireplace. This is gonna be a gas fireplace, so you just turn it on, and then when you're done, turn it off. You don't have to worry about ashes and everything else. 
There's a community walking path that runs through here. We have all this nice, beautiful green space in the back as well. It really is a stunning home site. They also included this granite countertop with this built-in grill as well. So it's gonna be piped into the home so you don't have to worry about trips to the hardware store for propane if you run out. as you can tell, just the sound here, I mean, it is just so quiet and peaceful in Marsh Island. All right, so there you have it. That's our tour on the Cassidy located here in Marsh Island on lot 92. The price on this home, exactly the way that it sits, is 1,048,32. So if you have interest in this Cassidy, please feel free to give me a call or, or shoot me off an email. And, and or if you have questions about features that you saw in this Cassidy that maybe you're thinking about building the Cassidy in a different community and you're wondering how this may apply to what it is that you're doing, you can feel to reach out to me as well. Again, my name is Corey with the Corey Mayo team at Ocean Atlantic Sotheby's. You can feel free to reach out to me at 302-466-5511. You can also email me at Corey, C-O-R-Y, at CoastalLifeDE, as in Delaware.com. Specializing here in Coastal Delaware real estate, new construction and client relocation, I'm here to help you out with anything that has to do with this Cassidy, with Shell Brothers, uh, really with anything that has to do with uh, real estate here in the coastal Delaware area. Anyway, I hope to hear from you. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.